Lewis Machine Hand Tool has been around since the early 1980s, manufacturing some of the highest quality components for the, the firearms industry, including several contracts for military OEM. Uh, Lewis Machine Hand Tool has also, uh, for many years, worked with uh, the United States Government Special Operations Command to create new solutions to uh, their ongoing issues. We're going to look at the Lewis Machine Tool uh, family of firearms uh, today. We're going to look at uh, some of the differences that make them stand out uh, amongst the rest of them. Uh, Lewis Machine Tool has also been throughout the years a sea of innovation uh, in a, the vast pool of countries who manufacture black rifles. Uh, they have truly brought the rifle into its next generation. To start off, we're going to look at their standard models. This is the, the standard um, comparable to the Colt uh, M4 carbine. Uh, however, it's been quite improved. We're going to take a look at this rifle from butt to muzzle and go over all the different things that make it stand out uh, as Lewis Machine and Tool. This particular model has a 14 and a half inch M4 barrel. Um, this will come in uh, 16 inch barrels, uh, 10.5 inch barrels, as well as the 14 and a half. The barrel is uh, manufactured chrome molly vanadium. Uh, it is a mil spec chrome plated barrel for uh, long lasting and anti corrosion. It utilizes uh, the standard M4 handguards, however, um, it will take any handguard the M4 will. The upper receiver itself, uh, the standard M4, a mill standard 1913 rail on the top. Um, inside you have the M4 feed ramps both on the receiver and the barrel extension. You have the standard forward assist, injection port and dust cover. These barrels are machine gun grade. Uh, they are extremely durable, uh, to say the least. Um, now we're going to look at the actual bolt carriers themselves. The bolt carriers are one of the departures uh, from many of the different LMT models. They actually offer two different types. First is the standard 5.56 millimeter or M16 type bolt carrier group. Uh, these are actually made in-house. The bolts are improved over the standard uh, mill spec bar uh, bolts. They are all magnetic particle inspected after firing a 70,000 PSI proof cartridge. They come in both semi-automatic and fully automatic configurations. The most uh, common these days is the fully automatic. The next one is one of LMT's more close-kept secrets. Um, it's the, called the Enhanced Bolt Carrier Group. This was actually made at the request of SOCOM. Um, during the early days of the global war on terror, there was issues with M4 bolts breaking. Uh, also, it was due to the higher cycle rate. Uh, SOCOM was having a significant problem with this. So they went to Carl Lewis to see if he could come and he could make a uh, an improve and correct the problem. And this is what they came out with. Um, you can see there are several differences on it. You notice there's three gas ports instead of one. You also notice that the uh, this uh, exhaust port is moved up further. Uh, what this does is it actually ejects more gas outside the ejection port rather than ejecting hot gas into the receiver itself. The biggest change on the bolt carrier itself is the actual cam track itself. One of the problems you have with any kind of a carbine uh, or shorter uh, gas length on an M16 M4 type system is the shorter the gas tube is, the higher the pressure is. And the carbine actually will work faster, the action will work faster, and as the bolt's unlocking, it will still have some residual pressure in there, making the extractor work much harder to get it out. So what LMT did was they modified the actual cam path to allow the bolt to remain closed longer. What this did is it allowed more time for the pressures to decrease so the extractor didn't have to work very hard. Um, also the way the gas is actually dumped into the bolt carrier is different as well. Normally it, it, the gas drops right down into the chamber, one hole drops right into it. Here it actually splits off into two angles to more evenly distribute. Um, these are some of the major improvements. Also, you'll see there's sand grooves here as well, or crud grooves, uh, to help it function. The bolt itself is also vastly improved over the standard. First thing we notice on the bolt is the actual stress relief locking lugs. This actually improves the strength dramatically of the actual uh, bolt lugs themselves. Um, in fact, uh, I've been working on trying to break one of these for several years and I've never been able to do it. You also have a, a proprietary uh, finish on it as well. The extractor has been vastly increased. Instead of having one spring, the ejector spring, we have two springs. 
Also, if you notice, the, the entire base of the cartridge case is, is um, supported. What this does is it increases uh, strength and durability, especially with water in the barrel. Um, this was a this was a major improvement as well. The extractor, which is referred to, <coughs> excuse me, the extractor is referred to as the lobster tail extractor because it has this paddle here, which which uh, both springs sit on. Also, the extractor groove itself is significantly different. It actually it catches more of the metal, it's or more of the cartridge case itself, as well as it's much more aggressive. This extractor has been licensed to several companies, including LWRCI and Knights Armament. Uh, because it is a significant improvement uh, over the single spring. So the combination of all these has been a vast improvement over the M4. What is it? It does ex increases extraction force. It ex increases extractor reliability due to the uh, the claw engaging more of the extractor rim. It uh, delays opening of the bolt uh, just enough to help allow all residual pressure to go. The enhanced carrier group as uh, for the US military it did not have interchangeability with the standard bolt carrier group for the full length rifle. Due to the change in the timing uh, to make it work properly in the M4 carbine it caused problems with the timing on the 20 inch barrel so you actually would get light strikes. So it didn't meet the, uh, the requirements for interchangeability however it did take care of the issues that SOCOM had. The LMT enhanced bolt carrier group can be offered in several different configurations. You can purchase the bolt carrier separate from the bolt if you choose. The bolt carrier itself is offered in both semi-automatic and fully automatic configurations. The bolt can be got in 5.56 millimeter which also works with 300 blackout as well as a 6.8 configuration. This is an enhancement for any carbine length gas system and it will benefit you whether you're using a selective fire or semi-automatic only. As well as complete rifles, LMT also offers uh, components. Right, showing here is uh, one of the LMT lower receivers. LMT currently offers four different lower receivers. Two of them are based off of the mil spec series. Shown here is what's referred to as the Defender 2000. The Defender 2000 is a standard mil spec lower receiver with a semi automatic only configuration. So it, the selector lower has safe and it has fire. The Guardian 2000 is a mil spec lower receiver with a selective fire. Uh, safe, semi, and fully automatic. Um, looking at the mill spec, coming from the front, we have basic uh, takedown pins. The trigger itself that LMT offers is twofold. First, you can get a mill spec uh, single stage trigger. Also offered is LMT's two stage trigger. This two stage trigger is manufactured in house with LMT's newly acquired wire EDM technology. Uh, it can be purchased either way. The pistol grip assembly can either be a standard mill spec or it will be the hogue type rubber grip. The stock assembly is offered in three different configurations. First is the SOT mod stock. The SOT mod stock is the most common. Uh, this is actually a US military stock bought by uh, the Navy and SOCOM. It has two uh, battery compartments here as well, two QD sockets, and removable butt pad. The next stock offered is uh, brand new as of about two years ago. This is called the DMR stock, which is a fully adjustable stock that actually slides right over the LMT receiver extension or any mil spec receiver extension. You see we have a club foot design right here as well. And you have a knob here to adjust your, your cheek weld and a knob here to adjust the rear length. You also have ambidextrous quick detach uh, points. So you have uh, two in the right and two in the left for attaching uh, sling swivel sockets. And this can be had in two different variations, one for the 308 and one for the 556. And is also offered as a commercial upgrade. Okay. The Defender 2000, Guardian 2000 lower receivers can also be had with the LMT manufactured ambidextrous selector lever. And also it can be manufactured in California compliant with the bullet button. And that covers the LMT Defender 2000, Guardian 2000 lower receiver assemblies. The next lower receiver that is brand new, actually as of 2016, is the Mars lower receiver or the modular ambidextrous rifle system. What this offers is a fully ambidextrous lower receiver. Starting on the right side, you have an ambidextrous bolt catch, your standard magazine release, ambidextrous selector lever. We flip over, we have standard position for the selector as well as an ambidextrous magazine release. 
Another feature added to the Mars Lower Receiver is the Enhanced Trigger Guard, which enables you to get to the trigger with large gloves. Also, there's a new re receiver extension end plate, which offers a quick detach point. There are two different variations of the Mars Receiver. You have the Mars LA, which is a fully automatic, which is this one here. And then you have the Mars LS, which is a semi-automatic only. Another new feature that was introduced with the Mars uh, rifle is the ambidextrous charging handle. This is of an LMT design for right or left handed. Also on the back it has some serrations uh, to help with the anti-slip. These, these components will be available for purchase as upgrades as part one of a three part series on Lewis Machine and Tool. Part two will be on the LMT CQB MRP platform and part three will be on the MWS 308 platform. Uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.